Hi, I'm Kim and today we're going to look at this beginner friendly blues in G minor. We're going to use the chords G, C, D and D flat. I'm going to use the power chords like this, that's open G, C on the 5th fret, D on the 7th fret and D flat on the 6th fret. If you want to play along with the backing track, I'll put that right at the end of this video. And I'll also make sure that on screen there's the tab so that you can follow along. However, if you want to follow along with a printed PDF, I've got that on my website and you can download it. I'll make sure there's a link in the description. If you want to record your own backing track, I'm playing at 80 beats per minute. I've tried to keep this piece as easy as possible with as many open strings as possible, but you will have to do some stretches up to the third, fifth and all the way up to the sixth fret. So make sure you've got your pinky ready to stretch up to that sixth fret. Let's look at the first two bars. Now you might not have come across triplets before. That's that group of three notes that are all joined together with the three on top or underneath them, depending on whether the tails are going up or down. A triplet is where you play three notes in the place of two, three notes in the timing of two. So we're counting two, but we're playing three notes. This is three quaver notes or eighth notes and we're playing three of those in the space of two. It sounds more complicated than it is, and once you get the hang of how it sounds, it's really not that difficult. I like to use my third finger on the third fret. I'll do that once more. This time I'm going to do it with a bit of vibrato on that top string, like this. Try and remember to keep your third finger on the third fret and then use your second finger on the second fret. Just makes it easier to know where you are. That's very similar to the first section. Now I'm going to use my first finger on the third fret because that's much easier than to reach that fifth fret with my third finger. See how I jump? I'll do it slowly. This next section is slightly different. There aren't triplets, but we do need to get up to the sixth fret. So I recommend having your first finger on the third fret, third finger on the fifth fret, and then you can use your pinky, your little finger on that sixth fret, like this. The last section is a little trickier. We've got some big jumps and we've got a triplet. So let's take it slowly. Sixth fret, then down to the third fret with my second finger. And then up to that open string. And then the sixth, five. That's the fingering, but I haven't got the timing quite right. I'll do it slowly in time. I'll do it even slower. One, two, three, four. Once you get the hang of playing this piece, you might like to try and add a bit of vibrato. That means that you wiggle your finger around a bit as you're playing. So instead of playing, you go. The other thing you might like to do to spice this up a bit, once you know how to play it, is to add slides in. 
I did try playing this with a slide on my unfettered guitar, but I'm still not really very good at that, so I didn't feel it was good enough for you to listen to. Now you can turn these power chords into minor chords by adding a third finger on the top string. So G minor is played like that with an added third fret. So that's C power chord, and then with my pinky on that fret there, that's C minor. D and D minor, and this is D flat on the sixth fret, and then with the extra finger on that makes it D flat minor. If you want to know more about turning power chords into minor chords, I have a video that I'll link to at the end. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You can download a free PDF of this at my website beginnercbg.com. If you like this lesson, you might like to check out this other video. Bye for now.